There's almost nothing in this world that humans cannot do, and especially when it comes to creating extremely unique, different, and excellent masterpieces, they are not far behind. Great ambition and ideas, however, usually come at a higher cost, sometimes hundreds of billions of dollars. Number 1. Songdo International Business District, South Korea 30 billion or more Songdo International Business District, IBD, has everything that a smart city should ideally have. It's an urbanized development project with a free economic zone in Incheon, 40 miles or 64 kilometers outside Seoul, with an estimated cost of 30 billion pounds or more. Songdo IBD is expected to develop on 600 hectares of land reclaimed from the sea. Its pervasive technology will allow its inhabitants to even video conference with their neighbors. Sensors will collect data to alert authorities to illegal activity or warn passengers when the next bus is scheduled to arrive. Songdo IBD, the Northeast Asia Trade Tower, G Tower, and Incheon Tower, will all be part of the Songdo IBD. The district will also have its schools, hospitals, housing, office buildings, and even cultural facilities. There will also be homages to architectural landmarks such as New York City's Central Park and Venice's waterways. This will attract businesses and tourists from the neighboring Incheon International Airport as well. Songdo IBD, with 106 buildings and 22 million square feet of LEED certified space, accounts for almost 40% of all LEED certified space in South Korea. Number 2. Doha Metro Qatar, $36 billion The Doha Metro, planned as one of the world's most advanced rail transport systems, is a transit system in Doha, Qatar's capital city, whose very first phase opened on May 8, 2019. The Metro Rail project is being built in two phases at $36 billion and is intended to become one of the world's most advanced and fastest train networks. The Metro is anticipated to have a 300-kilometer network with four lines designated red, green, gold, and blue once it's completely operational. The design of the entire metro project is called Vaulted Spaces, and it is inspired by medieval Islamic architecture, since it incorporates traditional Islamic architectural elements into a contemporary setting. One of the most important aspects of the design is that it gives the station's exterior shape by simulating the interior of an oyster with current colorful materials. The red, green, and gold lines, as well as 37 stations, were built in Phase 1 of the project. The blue line will be added to the network in Phase 2, as well as existing lines being extended. A total of 60 new metro stations are expected to be added to the city's network by 2026, which is incredible, so clearly there's still a lot more to come. Number 3. Forest City, Malaysia, $4 billion Forest City, Johar is an integrated residential development and private town. It is situated on the slopes of Gilong Patah in Johor Bahru District, Malaysia, and stretches to 1,370 hectares wide. The project was announced in 2006 as a 20-year project as part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. Forest City will be a smart and green future city that integrates environment, technology, and cutting-edge technology to create an idyllic and technology-driven living and working space ecosystem. It will comprise four man-made islands spanning 30 square kilometers. Forest City has received about 17 billion ringgit, or US $4 billion, in investments to date. The project was aimed at upper-middle-class Chinese citizens wishing to store their wealth abroad. With relatively affordable oceanfront houses compared to pricey coastal cities like Shanghai, developers offer affluent buyers chunks of developed property in this city. However, as Chinese President Xi Jinping introduced currency controls, introducing a $50,000 annual cap on how much consumers may spend outside the nation, initial high sales from mainland China dropped. Foreign policy referred to the project as a huge folly. Barely 15,000 units had been sold by the end of 2019, compared to a target of 700,000, and only 500 people lived in the development. Number 4. Hinkley Point C, UK, 22 and 23 billion pounds. 
Hinkley Point C's current completion cost is expected to be between 22 and 23 billion pounds. It's a project in Somerset, England to build a 3,200 mile milliwatt electric nuclear power station with two EPR reactors. Hinkley Point C in Somerset will offer low carbon electricity to over 6 million households create thousands of jobs, and provide long-term benefits to the UK economy. It will be the first nuclear power station built in the UK in over 20 years. Hinkley Point C will create up to 1,000 apprenticeships during its development and operation, with UK firms expected to receive 64% of the project's construction value. The project will make a big contribution to the UK's move to cut carbon emissions, marking a critical milestone in the revival of their nuclear power industry. Its two EPR reactors will generate enough electricity to even offset 9 million tons of CO2 emissions per year, or 600 million tons throughout its 60-year lifespan, which is truly fantastic. Number 5. Great Man-Made River in Libya. $25 billion. To make up for the shortfall in traditional sources, Libya's government, led by Gaddafi, embarked on the world's largest civil engineering project, dubbed the Great Man-Made River Project, or GMMR, to make the country's northern deserts green. The project is expected to cost more than $25 billion in total. Libya has done the project to date without the financial assistance of major countries or loans from international financial institutions, which is truly remarkable. In brief, the Great Man-Made River is a network of pipes that transports fresh water across Libya. It is said to be the largest irrigation project in the world. The project uses a pipeline system to transport water from Libya's Nubian sandstone aquifer system to cities along the country's populous northern Mediterranean coast, such as Tripoli and Benghazi. The water stretches for up to 1,600 kilometers and provides 70% of Libya's fresh water. It is the world's largest subterranean network of pipelines, 2,820 kilometers, with almost 1,300 wells that are more than 500 meters deep, providing 6.5 million cubic meters of fresh water each day. Number 6. King Abdullah Economic City, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Royal, 207 billion. Ruler Abdullah Economic City is a mega-project declared by Saudi Arabia's former king, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in 2005. The King Abdullah Economic City, located 100 kilometers north of Jeddah on the Red Sea coast, is planned to become a contemporary metropolis and thriving tourist destination. The city, along with five other economic cities, is part of Sagia's ambitious 10x10 program, which aims to make Saudi Arabia one of the world's top 10 attractive investment destinations by 2010. The city's first stage was completed in 2010, and the entire city is expected to be complete soon. By bringing direct foreign and domestic investments, the city hopes to diversify the nation's oil-based economy, The city also hopes to assist in the creation of up to one million jobs. It is split into six sections, an industrial zone, a seaport, residential areas, a sea resort, an educational zone, and a central business district, or CBD, that includes the financial island and is expected to be larger than Washington, D.C. once completed. Number 7. Urban Renewal Project in Turkey, $255 billion. If the project is completed, analysts predict that the total investment in Turkey's largest ever construction campaign will be $255 billion. Under this project, Turkey will renovate 1.5 million dwellings across the country in five years as part of the government's urban regeneration program, the Environment and Urbanization Minister announced. The project was announced following the magnitude 7.2 earthquake in the southeastern province of Van in 2011. Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan had declared that the government would launch a comprehensive, state-sponsored construction plan to build safe and sustainable cities in the face of the earthquake reality, which is, in all honesty, a very good and profitable investment. Well, this brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share our video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Turn on notifications to never miss an update. Don't forget to share your thoughts on this video in the comments below, and thanks for watching.